Hey guys, Trevor John coming at you with another Infinite Magic Raid video. On this one, I want to go ahead, I want to point out something about this whole wish goal here. Uh, because honestly, I feel like we need to talk about this and what this actually means for the game. Um, it's kind of one of those things where I don't want to see you guys waste your money or resources. You definitely want to make sure you're taking advantage of this. Um, that way you don't really, uh, I want you to get into it, okay? So when I say I don't want you guys to get hoodwinked, what I'm trying to say is I don't want you guys to spend all your resources on the midweek events because I feel like those are kind of a bait, right? We know something else is coming. Uh, I can tell you as a content creator, I get a firsthand look. I get to see some of that information ahead of time. And um, I just, I don't know. We'll, we'll go more in depth into it in just a minute. But first, I want to go ahead and uh, shout out our sponsor for today's video, which is going to be Aptoid. Uh, one thing to point out real quick, you can see it is in the background here. I'm actually on Bluestacks. You can see AppToys downloaded. I have AppCoins Wallet and Infinite Magic Crate all downloaded. Uh, you would never know that Infinite Magic Crate is actually downloaded via the AppToid app. Now, what is AppToid? Why should you know about it? Why should you even care? Why should you click the link down below? Uh, especially my personalized link. It'll say actually gotcha games in the link itself and my personalized link for the apps coin wallet. And it's because I want, don't want you guys to miss out on rewards. We're talking about wasting your resources. Now let's give you a resource that you can actually get something back for, right? Uh, so for those of you who are unaware, Google Play Store, for those of us in the United States, you can see out here, I have these play points up here, right? Uh, what these do for me is I can go ahead and I can come in here and I can use these to redeem Google Play coupons, right? Or in game, depending on what game you're playing, right? Any purchase I make on Google, I get points back, at which point I can then cash in. As you can see here, I have about $30 sitting in gift cards and Google Play points. I got this by spending money on games. Now, caveat of this, it's not available for everyone. It's, this is not a global thing. Uh, this is a regional thing. So if you don't have this available to you, you're definitely going to want to keep listening. Secondly, Notice that I am at a platinum tier point, so I can earn 1.4 points per dollar spent, okay? Um, seems like a whole lot, right? But in all actuality, it really isn't. And unfortunately, um, it's not quite what you could get if you were to use something like AppToid, which is kind of like the purpose of this video or, or shouting out the sponsor, honestly. Uh, because with AppToid, when you click on it via my link to download it, you can actually download it on your browser, drag and drop it into Bluestacks, LD Player, Knox Player, whatever. It's going to work just fine. It's just going to install the APK. Or you can actually click the link, download it on your cell phone, and it works the same way. I actually tested it out. Works great. Plays smooth. I would never know once again that I was playing it on a different Apple or a different uh, Play Store, we'll call it, than the Google or Apple Play Store. Now, one thing to note is when you do click on my link, it's gonna pop up and it's automatically gonna prompt you to go ahead and install Infinite Magic Crane. Notice here that I can go ahead, well, it has an update. So let's go ahead and we can update it. This is just like if we were to download and play it on your regular device, right? Also, I do wanna point out while this is updating, notice this says up to 20% bonus. What does that mean? Basically, anytime you spend any money in Infinite Magic Crane, as long as you click on my link to go ahead and download it, you're going to get 20% back of what you spent, right? Like if you made a purchase in game, 20% 20 back of it is going to come back in some sort of rewards, essentially. But then you can then transfer and use to buy more stuff, right? It's the same as the Google Play system. However, it's a little bit better, actually, because if you use my promo code, <laughs> you actually get um, an additional 5% bonus for infinite magic grade purchases. Um, there is a promo code associated with that. Um, so you need to type in the, the verbiage for it. I will have all that information in the description and in the pinned comment for this video. But you can get 25% back of all your purchases, which is huge. So think about that. If you buy four things at the same value, what does that mean? You essentially ended up with a 100% bonus, right? It means you get one free. So buy four, get one free. Um, I know it's not as simple as that, right? Especially for a lot of people out there who just can't afford that. And you know what? That's okay. That is understandable. And I would never push anything for anyone. But keep that in mind. This is something that's definitely beneficial. Also, the App Store has everything. It's This is not geo-locked. It doesn't matter. The game is in SEA and it's on this App Store. You can play it. Even though it's an SEA server um, across the world, as an American, I can still download and play it. Notice you can see these all take app coins where you can make your purchases via their smart wallet, which is very helpful. Um, basically, by downloading that wallet, what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to go ahead and allow you to um, 
make all of your purchases with this AppCoins wallet. Okay. What does that mean? Everything's going to be stored in here. You can see right here where it's talking about the 20% bonus. Keep in mind, this isn't just my game. This isn't just IMR. This is everything you play. As long as it has the 20% on it, you can do it. You can also check and see what promotions they have. When they have promotions, they'll say, hey, play these games. Get these kickbacks. Um, take advantage of those. Don't, don't waste your resources. That's the whole point of this video, right? Don't waste your resources, especially if you're going to be doing other things. Um, let's go ahead and let's pop it back in here. Let's open Infinite Magic Raid here. And you will see when I go ahead and select Infinite Magic Raid, um, the purchases, what it's going to look like. Basically, when I pick it, it's going to show you, hey, you can get X back. And at that point, to me, that's worth it, right? Especially because we do have this current Lunar event, which is great. Um, they have a lot of good packs that they're offering. Definitely keep that in mind when you're making a decision on what you want to do. I All know right, so let's go ahead and let's show you really quickly uh, what you could get basically by doing this, right? So, for example, I did find the $5 pack here. It kind of caught my eye. I'm not going to buy it. I can't buy it on my account because we're free to play on this account, right? However, if I click on it, notice that it will pop up a dialogue just like what you're used to seeing. Uh, it's going to pop up here. It's actually going to say you can use your credit card or PayPal. Ask someone to pay. Also very helpful. I know a lot of people out there, they like to uh, do checks and balances with whether they make Google purchase it or they make purchases for in-game. Um, and maybe they use a shared count card or whatever the case may be. Or maybe it's a child and they would like, you know, to request someone else to buy it for them. That way you don't have to give them your card information. Really cool feature. Definitely take advantage of it. Also, you have AppCoin's credits. Notice, once again, you can use this once you start buying and you get those credits back. For a $5 purchase, you get $1.11 back, right? And that's not including the additional 5% you get back from using my promo code. So make sure you use it so we get the most back for you, right? You basically get 25% of it back at $5. That makes a difference. Now, keep that in mind. And thank you so much for watching. Sorry, this, this uh, part of it was a little long. But I really wanted to get out there and let you guys know. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. We have this wish right here. Guaranteed legendary. And it is 30 less. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of this. What happens if you were to summon on this banner? So currently, if you were to take time out of your day and summon on this banner, what does that mean for you? Basically, what that means for you is the simple fact that, sure, you're going to get a guaranteed legendary after 115 versus going all the way to 145. That's a positive, right? That, that's one positive. Uh, what else do you get? Well, it's random. You don't know what legendary you're going to get. We add legendaries, what is it, like every week, it seems like. Uh, we also have a summoning event pretty much every week. It's now Tuesday. Okay. We just had a summoning event. Hmm. Well, if you're using Aptoid and you buy a bunch of packs, you get money back so you can then reinvest it and buy more packs. But I don't like this. Like, this seems like a power wrap. I, I honestly feel like this is uh, not good for the game. I, I feel like they're... I, I know they're making money. I know they are doing a very good job, actually. Like, when you look at, like, uh, all the Android analytics, which we'll probably do a video on that because I like to cover that kind of, that kind of information. Um, the Google search engine for Infinite Magic Rain, still good. Uh, still po more popular than a lot of other games. Um, same thing with their actual return, like their uh, reported re investment and returns. It, they're still going up. So Infinite Magic Grid so far has been successful, which is awesome. But when you start introducing these types of events, like I feel like you should, like one, this, this is a bait, 100% a bait. I actually watched a YouTube video for my good friend, Ivy League Gaming. If you're not following her, you should probably go check her out. Uh, she actually quit Raid, Raid Shadow Legends. She's main gaming, uh, Eternal Evolution, and Infinite Magic Raid. A uh, very good fr close friend of mine. Definitely go check her out. But she made an amazing point uh, in one of her videos that I watched. And it was basically saying like, hey, Infinite Magic Raid, I'm playing you because you're not Raid Shadow Legends. You're not Awakened Chaos Era. You're not, you're not other games. You're your own brand. You, you've taken a good concept of like a raid and then you've applied your own spin on it. Now you're acting like Raid Shadow Legends. Um, I think that's a very valid point. I think that's a good takeaway because why are, why would you do this? Like, why would you mimic their business model? Which granted, yeah, their business, mo business model is great. It makes them a crap load of money. So they're their number one gotcha game out there. But that feels really bad to us who did play if it imagine or who, who played a lot of raid, right? Like I spent 15 grand on raid. I don't want to spend another dime on that game. 
Um, I haven't spent anything in Infinite Magic Grade, but that was just simply because I was trying to prove out the, the free to play concept for this game. And as you've seen, I've done it. Like I can do a lot of stuff. I cannot do, yeah, like I'm stuck on to level 26. I'm literally like this close to breaking it wide open, but I, I can't do it yet. Eventually I will get there. And then once I get that part unlocked, I'm gonna move forward. Like you don't need to spam us with these summoning events as often as you do. Like this feels like a power grab. On top of that, so how did this work for people who were at pity, right? Like what if you only had one or two more legendaries until you hit pity? What did that mean? What Like what, what did this say for you right now? Like did that roll back, right? Um, did excellent wishes, let's say you were like five or 10 away because you were stockpiling waiting for like the double legendary event. What did this do to you? I've heard reports that it went away. Like people who were next to pity got hosed. They didn't get their legendary. Um, I don't know if it's true. Honestly, I don't care enough to like investigate. What I do care enough about is the simple fact that I don't want to see you guys waste your money and get and feel like FOMO to do these summonings, right? Like this is part of a lunar event. Um, don't don't waste your money, guys. Be, be cognizant of what you're doing. Don't show them, don't validate the, it's okay to have these in the middle of the week. By spending so many on this, these banners, that's what you're showing them. Please don't do that. Just, just save yourself a lot of time, save yourself a lot of money. Um, it's a lot of investment in general, right? Like if you're enjoying the game, don't allow them to make changes that hurt the game, right? You know, like identify like, hey, this is not good and then bring it up so that way they can rectify it. Simple as that. Um, I do know like, yeah, it makes sense. Some people just want that dopamine and I know there's some good packs out there, right? Like we know because of this holiday pass, um, 20 bucks here, you can get a bunch of resources, you get a bunch of everything else, right? Uh, you can get these other special packs, which are, no, not that one. Where are the special packs at? Not, mm, not that, actually we need to do that one still. <laughs> I need my free diamonds, I forgot about it. Don't forget, don't forget about them. Um, oh crap, did I even do this too? No, I, I don't, we're good, we're good, we've been doing that, okay. Um, but anyways, when you go to buy the packs, I, I, I don't buy things, so I'm not, uh, I'm not as limber on that when it comes to that. Uh, where is it? This one, that pack. So anyways, when you go through here and you see all these limited packs, just don't buy them, don't get, don't get hoodwinked, guys, uh, because what's gonna happen is you're just gonna validate it and people are gonna be like, okay, well, we can do this all the time now. Notice, the, cause these deals are good, these are great. Don't waste, the re don't waste the resources, guys. Um, that's gonna go ahead. I'm gonna wrap this video up here now because I definitely don't want to, I don't wanna send the wrong message to you guys. I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from. Um, I've seen this happen before. I don't wanna see it happening in other games. And I want you guys to be able to enjoy the game and save your money. I don't want you guys to, to feel like you're spending your money and wasting it in, in any means possible, right? Um, definitely don't forget, for those who stayed to the end and have been watching your, my video, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, don't forget, if you guys want to help support me and also help us supporting like a, an upcoming app store, um, go download Aptoid via my link down below. Drop it into your blue stacks, drop it in your OD player. Make sure to add the apps coin wallet. You're gonna have to do that anyways if you make any purchases. And then buy everything through that store just because at least you get a kickback, right? At least you get some rewards back um, instead of just sending the money to directly to the people or, or paying extra into um like google and apple right like how about the other guys basically that's gonna do it for this video spread the love can't wait to see you guys in the next one have a good rest of your day peace